Well, efforts to decertify for Memphis, former Memphis police officers accused in the death of Tyree Nichols is slowly moving forward in Nashville today. Today, MPD asked the state's officer standards and training commission to decertify Lieutenant Dwayne Smith. Now, he is on the left hand side of your screen there. We shot or screenshot this from the body camera footage from the night of the traffic stop. Now, he can never wear a badge in Tennessee again. The commission will review the records of three other MPD officers, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin, and Justin Smith tomorrow. Jay Shakur was at that hearing and is live in Nashville with more on what happened. So Jay, what's next for these former officers? The state's police commission you mentioned or post has had a lot to deal with today, especially as it concerns the case of Dwayne Smith and how to handle it. He was the supervising officer on the scene the night Tyree Nichols was beaten. Because he retired before he was fired, it's unclear or it was unclear to the MPD how they could proceed or, or could they decertify him. But in the end, MPD decided to move forward with his case. Although the Post Commission says it needs to give him 30 days notice to appear before he can be actually decertified. MPD did enter into the record that the former lieutenant failed to get Tyree Nichols medical care despite hearing him say, I can't breathe, and also didn't have his body cam on. And that's as far as his case went today. Now, as far as Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin, and Justin Smith, who were all given 30 days notice, they were all no-shows today. And since they chose not to appear and defend themselves, they will likely be decertified by default tomorrow. MPD says they should lose their certification because they too violated the department's body cam policy, but also used unnecessary force, violated MPD. protocols. Now, there are three other officers who may be decertified. Desmond Mills almost certainly will be decertified tomorrow as he's as he's already submitted a letter of surrender to the department's decision. As for the two other officers, Preston Hemphill and Tadarius Bean, they will have their hearings in the coming days. Live in Nashville, I'm Jay Shakur.